Edgewater is a neighborhood located on the far north side of Chicago. It began as a suburban enclave for the well-to-do in the late 1800s. Today, it's one of the most diverse community areas in the Windy City. What's good, YouTube? It's Louis Gusto. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're in Edgewater, Chicago on a beautiful late summer day. And in this film, we're going to go on a tour of the neighborhood, eat at some of the top restaurants, show you some of the best things to do, plus tell you everything you need to know about this historic Chicago neighborhood. But before we get into it, you already know what to do. Go ahead and finesse that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel for more content just like this. One of the biggest misconceptions about Chicago is that there are 77 neighborhoods, but that's actually not the case. I can understand the confusion, though, because there are official community areas and unofficial neighborhoods. Edgewater is an official community area and actually the newest of the 77, but we'll get more into that later in the film. For now, let's go ahead and explore Edgewater, Chicago. We're starting off our day in Edgewater the right way with a stop to Metropolis Coffee. They've been around since 2003. They were started by a father and son team and they're still based right here in Chicago. They have a roastery nearby that gives tours once a month. Today, I got a plain black coffee. My grandfather would say that I'm hungover, but I can assure you that's not the case. This is their special Granville blend named after the street that they're on me. Wedgewater is located about seven miles north of the Loop, and the official city boundaries are Devon on the north, Ravenswood Avenue on the west, Foster on the south, and Lake Michigan on the east. We took the CTA Red Line L train to the Granville stop, but you can also get off at Bryn Mawr, Berwyn, Thorndale. Actually, hold up, don't get off at the Berwyn until 2024 because the station is currently under renovation. CTA buses that serve Edgewater include the 22, the 36, 136, 147, 151, and 155. When we say Edgewater is a community area, that implies that it's broken up into smaller neighborhoods. Those include Edgewater Glen, Magnolia Glen, Lakewood Balmoral, and part of Andersonville, which we'll actually cover in a separate neighborhood guide. Some of the other community areas around Edgewater include Rogers Park, Uptown, West Ridge, and Lincoln Square. Once upon a time, Edgewater was an area that Native Americans called home. But once modern Chicago was founded, Germans, Irish, and Swedish started settling in the area. John Lewis Cochran, dope middle name by the way, came to Chicago from Philadelphia when he was 23 years old. Before moving here, he had zero experience in real estate, but ended up buying some properties in the Gold Coast. He then flipped those houses for buku dollars and turned his eyes further north. Cochran fell in love with the lakefront and wondered why so many Chicagoans took it for granted back in those days. He loved it so much in the 1880s that he copped about 70 acres worth the land in what was then known as the Lakeview Township. Hollywood Deli is a Chicago bodega on Sheridan and Hollywood Avenue, right next to Lake Michigan. They're part convenience store and part cold cut deli sandwich shop. Today we got a Dietz and Watson Italian roast beef, 12 inch sub with provolone cheese, pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, banana peppers, olive oil, vinegar. This looks so good and it's all about supporting those local businesses. Whoa. <laughs> St. Andrew's Greek Orthodox Church has been part of the Edgewater community since 1926. They've been in this building at the corner of Sheridan and Hollywood since 1955. They offer Sunday service at 8 a.m. and 9.30 a.m. If you can't make it here, go ahead and live stream it right on YouTube. This is Kathy Osterman Beach, and believe it or not, it's part of Lincoln Park, Chicago's largest green space. All of this was created from landfill in the 1950s, and it was once known as Ardmore Beach and Hollywood Beach because it's located on the eastern end of those streets. In the 1990s, it was renamed in honor of Kathy Osterman, who passed away in 1992. In 2010, Osterman Beach got a brand new LEED certified beach house. The architecture is inspired by turn of the century Chicago Park District buildings. Not only do Chicagoans love this beach, but so do migratory birds. They fly here every spring and autumn. For 20 years, Mama K ran a catering business right here in Chicago, serving up the entire city. And over that time, she developed baking skills. Mama K is located in the historic Bryn Mawr district. They serve up pastries that are baked in-house, award-winning ice cream all the way from Wisconsin. And they work with Uncommon Coffee Roasters to bring us freshly delivered coffee from farmers all over the world. Cheers. Oh, this is a nitro cold brew, by the way. Oh. 
After purchasing all this land, Cochran started the Edgewater Light Company and built out sidewalks, street lamps, and a sewer. Believe it or not, this was not typical for the era. Basically, suburban developers would usually have people move in and then build out all the infrastructure. Cochran was inspired by legends like Potter Palmer and Paul Cornell, who had developed the Gold Coast and Hyde Park. But in order for Edgewater to grow, it needed transportation. Keep in mind, these were the days before cities were ruined by cars. And it just so happened that the Chicago, Milwaukee, and St. Paul Railroad ran through this area. Cochran convinced them to open up a stop at Bryn Mawr. Speaking of Bryn Mawr, that name might sound familiar to you if you're from the Philadelphia area. Many streets in Edgewater are actually named for old Pennsylvania mainline railroad stops like Thorndale, Rosemont, Wayne, Berwyn, Bryn Mawr, and Devon. A trolley was set up soon after the railroad stop opened up, but the biggest boost to Edgewater came with the 1908 extension of the Northwestern Elevated Railroad Company all the way to Howard Street. Today you may know this as the CTA Red Line. In 1916, the Edgewater Beach Hotel opened, designed by Marshall and Fox. It was a symbol of this area's prosperity, and over the years hosted people like Nat King Cole, Charlie Chaplin, Frank Sinatra, and even Marilyn Monroe. Twelve years later, these Edgewater Beach apartments were built. Sadly, we lost the hotel to the wrecking ball, but thankfully, the apartments still stand. This is one of the most ornate firehouses in all of the city of Chicago, and was once home to Engine Company 59, Truck 47. It's trimmed with terracotta, has classical detailing, and is a Chicago landmark. Today, it's home to the Chicago filmmakers. Chicagoland Games Into the Dice Dojo is your one-stop shop for all things board games. They also have an open play space and allow you to play demo games absolutely free. They sell dice and cards and little figurines for all the games. Not really my cup of tea, but it's definitely a way to support the local community. Now, these aren't your grandfather's games like Monopoly, Life, and Parcheesi. These are the really intricate, strategical games where you gotta guess if the person is a spy or set up a new civilization. So if you're into that type of stuff, come to Chicagoland Games Into the Dice Dojo. Dojo. St. Edith's is a beautiful Catholic church in Edgewater designed by Henry Schlack in the French Gothic style, very reminiscent of Notre Dame in Paris. They offer Sunday masses at 8.30, 10.30, and 5.30, plus a Spanish mass at 12.30. Chicago is world famous for its theater scene, and Edgewater plays a huge role in that reputation with more than 20 theaters, including the Edge Off-Broadway. It's a great way to support the arts and another fun thing to do in Edgewater. Lakewood Bar Moral is a historic neighborhood in the Edgewater community area, located between Bryn Mawr and Foster, just west of Broadway. It is listed on the National Register of Historic Places, and once you explore this neighborhood, you're gonna see why. Beautiful, I mean incredibly gorgeous homes, apartment buildings. If we were gonna live in Edgewater, we would strongly consider of the Lakewood Bar Moral neighborhood. No cap. Edgewater expanded rapidly, and part of it was renamed Uptown, which we'll cover in a separate Chicago neighborhood guide. Fast forward to the 1920s when the Chicago community areas were being drawn up, and this whole area was named Uptown. The Edgewater name was temporarily lost. Alice and Friends Vegan Kitchen was founded in 2001 by Alice Lee, and their goal is to make it easy for anybody to adopt a plant-based diet and lifestyle. Their dishes are 100% vegan. What we have here today is the rainbow roll. These are spring rolls with all sorts of colorful vegetables like beets, corn, purple cabbage, and lettuce. We also have the popcorn nuggets, which is fried king trumpet mushroom. Both of them have some dipping sauces to go along with that. These are really crispy, and with some good dipping sauces, it's an excellent dish. This gigantic structure behind me was built in the early 1900s. It started off as a recreational area for the growing Edgewater community area. It was turned into an armory, and then for many years, it was a drilling and training center for the Illinois National Guard. Today, the Chicago Park District owns it, and it forms part of what is now known as Broadway Armory Park. Unfortunately, in the 1940s and 50s, the same type of urban decay hitting the rest of the city and country came to Edgewater. Historic mansions were demolished, and families began leaving for the suburbs.
Beginning in the 1960s, the Edgewater name was resurrected. First with the formation of the Edgewater Community Council, then in the 1970s with the opening of the Edgewater branch of the Chicago Public Library. A few years after that, Edgewater broke off of Uptown and officially became the 77th community area. The Broadway Antique Market is Chicago's oldest and largest antique dealer. It's two gigantic levels and you'll find everything from art, furnishings, clothing, vintage posters, pretty much anything you could think of from back in the day, you may actually find here. And I know this is a store technically but it feels like a museum. It's been so much fun just to walk around here. If you want something unique, a little eclectic for your home or apartment, definitely come and pay Broadway Antique Market a visit. If there's one thing Edgewater has no shortage of, it's beaches. This is Foster Beach, and it has beautiful views of Lake Michigan, a historic beach house, and it even has a dog beach. Ethiopian Diamond has been a mainstay in the Edgewater community for many years. They first opened up in 1996. The executive chef and owner's first name actually means diamond in Amharic. And today we have a little bit of beef, a little bit of potatoes with carrots, some lentils, some chickpeas, and of course the injera bread. Chicago has a lot of options for Ethiopian restaurants, but this is definitely one of the best. We are now at Lickety Split Frozen Custard for an after dinner treat. This is also an Edgewater community staple. They offer all sorts of things from custard to ice cream to different flavors of pop, got throwback candy. Today we got the concrete vanilla custard in here with some cookie dough pieces. And it's a concrete because you can turn it upside down and nothing falls out. Hopefully that means it's delicious. Narissa wanted to pick it up, so I'm gonna go along with her. I always trust her when it comes to food and desserts. <laughs> a nice spoonful of the custard with the cookie dough pieces. Mm. Pretty good. Double Bubble is that classic neighborhood dive bar right here in Edgewater. They're so popular that this stretch of Broadway has been renamed Honorary Double Bubble Way. It's a perfect place to grab drinks, hang out with friends, watch some sports. Inside, you got a mix of people, young professionals, old school cats, Loyola students. It is a cash only bar, so no credit cards allowed. In the 2020s, Edgewater is known for its charming neighborhoods, ethnic diversity, and sandy beaches. Peace.